Hello, I am Prashant. I welcome you to Educational Stuff. In this video, this is an editorial page analysis for the Indian Express. The first article is regarding the inflection point, the line of actual control, the brutal killing of uh, Indian soldiers by a Chinese army in the deadliest escalation of violence between India and China on the line of actual control is nearly four and a half decades uh, puts a heavy question mark on the already fraught process. It has the potential to vitiate and undermine the disengagement agreed upon only a few days ago between the senior military officers on both sides and harden the standoff between the two countries. The provocation is grave. This is not the toll taken by an act of terror, uh, terror by a non-sector actor but a clash between two armies. Yet India must keep a clear and India must keep a clear and determined head. It needs to respond with a calm deliberations and steely resolve. It must be fully prepared to escalate, but it must not embark on such a course with without a full assessment of what transpired on the ground or without hearing of what the Chinese leadership has to say, or being mindful of what lies ahead. When two armies are fully mobilized and standing eyeball to eyeball, there is always a possibility of accidents that triggers an escalation that neither a side wants. Monday, night clashes came after both sides had publicly stated that the situation was under control and that disengagement had begun in the Galwan Valley area. The Chinese Ministry of Foreign Affairs had accused the Indian Army of violating the consensus that the two sides arrived and the New Delhi has been accused being of doing the same. Clearly much is being lost in the translation even as Chinese adventurism breaches. The understanding underlined in several meetings between Prime Minister Modi and Chinese President Xi Jinping. New Delhi should activate all political lines of communication with Beijing including the one between the special representatives to the border negotiations and the foreign ministers to make this point and take it forward. Many in Delhi have been lulled in complacency by previous diplomatic successes in diffusing military crisis in Deep Sung in 2013, Chumar in 2014, Doklam in 2017, but Delhi can't ignore the profound cha change in Beijing's worldwide and the new sense in Beijing's that it cannot afford to take all the comers. Nor can Delhi turn a blind eye to President Xi Jinping's political swagger, Chinese growing assertiveness in the territorial disputes with its neighbor, its simmering cold war with the United States of PLA aggressive postures on the grounds. In other words, Indian political illusions about China are becoming increasingly unsustainable and Delhi has arrived at its inflection point in its policies towards Beijing. China on its part would be unwi unwise to underestimate India's political resolve, its capacity to come together amid a national crisis and international coalition in its favor. If Beijing refuses to restore the status quo ante on the front ends, it will push India irrecoverably towards a comprehensive and a long-term political, diplomatic and military strategies of responding purposefully. This is regarding the India and China issue. Uh, this is the article of Indian Express. That's the end of the article discussion of an inflection point regarding India-China line of actual control, the brutal killing of 20 Indian soldiers by Chinese army. If you're first to my channel, I request you all to subscribe to my channel for further updates. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day.